Rizzo the Legend back again with another top five video. And you guys love it. You guys love it when we do these top five videos. So up on this video, we got another special special guest, as always. Introduce yourself. Yo, what is up, you guys? It's your boy, um, Chunk is you know us. It's Chunk OS. <laughs> That's who it is. St straight off the video where we recorded that podcast with Brave, Turbo Tim, Chunk of Ice, all those beastie dudes. And yeah, I'm back in here, you know us. Yido West is in the building, guys, and we're about to do the top five signature abilities. You guys didn't see that one coming, did you? <laughs> signature abilities! I gotta do it, bro. <laughs> you said signature abilities! Heck yeah! You gotta bust these eardrums, man. Yeah, <laughs> All right, guys, you guys know what it is. Yido West, without further ado, tell these people who is your number five champion. Well, my number, my, my, oh my god, my number five signature ability, if I can stop stuttering, is pretty much, it's Spider-Man. So, Spider-Man, his ability, I have it here right next to my right, Spider-Sense. When attacked, increase agility coupled with small, sta uh, with small stature and a sixth sense for imminent danger makes Spider-Man 22% more loose. And that's a level 50 ability from um, a two-star, because I don't have the four-star dupes, but I can't find my three-star either. So, pretty much... Um, in layman's terms, what that means is pretty much it will evade a lot of attacks. So if you're trying to punch it, it will evade your attacks. And that's what makes it OP. Because people, when they use him as the Alliance Quest boss, really annoying. He's really annoying in Alliance Quest at the end of Map 5. All around, people know Spider-Man's notoriety. Yes, you know what's funny is I actually had Spider-Man on my list. But I took him off because, uh, you'll see, you'll see. I, I, I took him off. But, uh, he wasn't my number five, though. My number five, I went with Magneto. And I know a lot of people are like, what? What? That's like, not bad. like those minions? Huh? Nah, I picked Magneto, guys, because Magneto is a beast. And I think a lot of people are sleeping on his signature ability. Um, I also have it right here, too. It says Magneto bends his uh, defensive uh, electromagnetic field around his body to create personal force field, preventing him from losing more than 19.3% health from a single source. That's what my Magneto is. And basically what that means, guys, is when I decide, hey, I'm going to fight UC in the AQ today with my Magneto, and I'm whooping UC's butt, but he's getting his L3. <laughs> basically, he, UC does his L3. I will not die from that single source. I will not yeah. die from that L3, guys. M Magneto will snuff it out. He still takes some damage, <laughs> but he will not die, and, I, and that's why I love Magneto's uh, signature ability. Yo, yo, so here we go, guys. We're, we're getting right into it, and already me and, Ye me and Yeet OS list is very different, and that's good. That's, that's what we want. We want to see some variety so you guys can be like, oh, I never thought about it. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, maybe I should try this. So that's exactly why I do these top five videos, and uh, without wasting any more time, Yeet OS, tell the people who is your number four champion. Yeah, my number four champion is the only champion that can pretty much combat Spider-Man, and you'll come out alive, and that's Black Widow. Um, let me go into her ability because well, pretty much what I as of what I as of what I remember is, um, pretty much she negates special abilities. So in terms of Electro, if you're fighting Electro, you wouldn't get that shock. If you're fighting Spider-Man, he's not going to evade. So I have my rank five um, Black Widow chilling here at level 21. So let me actually go to info real quick and click on it. It is titled sub sub or something like that. I, I don't know how to pronounce that word. Pretty much. All attacks, Black Widow strikes her targets with subtle, calculated grace, reducing the chance of triggered their abilities by 69.7%. So, if you have her duped at 99, I'm pretty sure it's 99.9 .9 or 100%, something like that. But, um, it's really good, man, especially with all the different, um, BS that you can run into in this game. Black Widow is going to be pretty consistent for you in terms of her ability, especially that her, um... L1 and her L2, as well as her L3, are all pretty beasty with that increased critical hit rate, especially with her um, L3 consisting of a long ass stun, too. I agree with that, man. Uh, you guys will see where Black Widow ends up on my list. <laughs> no secrets there. Spoiler alert! No secrets there. <laughs> but uh, number four is a champion that actually will kick Black Widow's butt, and it's Wolverine because he gets the up arrow. And guys, I pick Wolverine. You know why I pick Wolverine. Let's read the signature ability. It's passive. It says Wolverine's natural healing factors accelerates 
granting cumulative, 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 cumulative <laughs> regeneration with a fixed 8% chance to recover 19.9 health. Guys, I know Wolverine, I know a lot of people feel that Wolverine's healing powers was better before they changed it, but I say, I, I kind of like it the way it is. I mean, I'm, I'm not mad at it. If you hold on to his power, he will regen a lot. If you use up his power, then you won't regen that much. People, you guys really got to learn how to use these champions. Because I hear a lot of people hating on Wolverine. Oh, he doesn't regen that much. That's because you don't know what you're doing. Save that power up and just don't use it. Use it when you get in a tight, you know, a tight situation. But keep it and he will just regen like crazy. I've been in matches where I've been getting my butt blasted all the way down to like one more hit and I'm about to die. But then I'll just man up and, you know, evade everything, get my life back. All of a sudden, I won the match with full life because of Wolverine's signature ability. Yo, yo. So this, this is actually, you guys, if you guys are watching, following along on the top five or top three uh, series that I've been doing on this channel, this is actually a good one for those people that are new to the game you guys are getting some in-depth uh conversation here about you know who, who who's good in the game who, who's who's got good signature abilities and what do they do so without further ado yita west tell them who is your number three champion my number three champion is star lord um surprisingly it's not higher on my list but um star lord man stays consistent he's been consistent ever since the game came out with that tactician ability the only reason i was able to beat the round of legends is because of him the only reason i was able to beat the chloe not chloe quest the Colson quest is because of him. Oh, wow. Um, man, if you need a big beast that you need to take out, Star-Lord's the man for that. And the reason for that is because Tactician, every 10 hits, as you guys know, is probably the most popular ability in the game. So every 10 hits that you um, deal to your opponent, your damage goes up like 40% or something like that. So, um, yeah, man, no no surprise that he's on my list and he's this high. That's, uh, you you beat the, the Colson quest with uh, Star-Lord, huh? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was him. I can't remember. Pretty beastie. I have, on, I have it on record, but uh, I don't remember. Pretty beastie, man. I haven't. Uh, I, I just got a four star Star Lord uh, recently, so I'm pretty See, excited. See, that's just crazy, dude. Some people like avoid having to be good four stars. I pulled four. I pulled Star Lord four times. Oh my god. Actually, no, three times because I got him in the arena once. But um, I don't have a Thor. Everyone oh. has Thor and Scarlet Witch. I don't have either of them. I don't have Scarlet Witch either. Everybody in my alliance has Scarlet Witch, but I don't. I'm like, what the kind of crap is that? <laughs> I would I would really love to have Thor. Thor's the one person that I'd really like to have. Thor is a beast. But, uh, shout out to Turbo Tim. Shout out to Turbo Tim. Uh, shoot, what number are we on? We on three, right? Yeah. I lost track. So, yeah, I'm looking right at it. I'm heck of stupid. <laughs> so, yeah, number three, guys. You guys already know I mentioned her before. Scarlet Witch. Yido S already read her signature ability, but, you know, just to reiterate, uh, Scarlet Witch, uh, Scarlet Witch, did I say Scarlet Witch? Yeah, you said Scarlet Witch, sure, Black Widow. I meant Black Widow. I, I always think Scarlet Johansson. <laughs> I'm always thinking, Sorry. yes, she is, yeah! <laughs> so, I meant to say Black Widow, guys. Black Widow is my number three champion for this list, and like I said, Yido S already touched on the basic points, uh, but just to reiterate on that, um, a lot of people are bringing their Spider-Mans and Electros for Alliance Wars. Oh boy, when Alliance Wars is going, the Electros and Spider-Mans come out to play. So bring in your Black Widow, guys. Bring, Start leveling up those Black Widows because, like Yido West said, man, she is negating that evade. She is negating that shock, whatever it is that Electro does, and she's just beasting it up. Her L1, that critical power she gets. She, oh my gosh, she's beasting it with those kicks. That L2, nasty. If she hits her L2, you're going to get a big chunk of your life gone. Life gone. I know we're not talking about her specials, but overall, Black Widow is just a great character, and I love her signature ability. Yo, yo, so uh, we're coming down to the, to the last part of this list. Um... I have an idea. I know who's who's next on Yido S list, but uh, I'm gonna let him. I'm, I'm gonna let him talk about him. I, I, I'm just thinking it in my head. I, I suspect that our number two champions might be the same, but wait, wait, wait! You have Rhino too? <laughs> Shut up, fool! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't talk about our list, but uh, Yido S, go ahead, tell the folks. Pretty much, I have like a mini spoiler. I feel like because I was like, yeah, dude, I don't have, I don't have Thor, I don't have Scarlet Witch. But um, 
Scarlet Witch is my number two. Her ability, pretty much whenever you score a critical hit, something happens in the battlefield. And you can stack like eight cruelties, then use your special two and it'll do like 100,000 damage. It's crazy. But, um, that's where you gotta get her dupe 99. First of all, you gotta start off with a uh, four star. And that's, I don't even have her, so. That's crazy. Scarlet Witch I didn't is number even know two. That. I, I didn't even know that. That's that's crazy. Well, dude, no. For me, I've stacked four cruelties at once, and it's done like thirty thousand damage. Woo I know. I seen you going through. Uh... Oh, excuse me. I was watching your your live stream on Act Four, and I seen you were using a three star Scarlet Witch, and I was like, damn, this dude is good, smashing through Act Four with a three star. Man, I seen that though. Dude, Scarlet Witch is beastie, man. Especially, no, because my Scarlet Witch is dupe level 99, my three star is. Nice. Yeah, she's a beast, man. So, my number two, um, my number two, guys, is Thor. Thor is a beast. <laughs> yeah, Thor is a beast, guys. But he is my number two. And let's, let's go ahead and go to, let's pull it up, see if I can pull it up real quick. My phone is being gay. No offense to my LGBT people out there, but uh, yeah, that's just how we do in the Bay Area out here. <laughs> uh, what does that mean? Uh, what is it? Lesbian, gay, transsexual, something like that. What? Yeah, LGBT or something like that. You never heard of that? Nope. Yeah, man, it's 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 something they got out here. I don't know. I'm. It, we can talk about that off, off camera. <laughs> <laughs> But uh yeah, no no offense. I don't I don't ever mean to offend anyone. I just, you know, the lingo from where I'm from, sometimes things like that get said. But anyways, getting back to the point of this video, uh Ragnarok guys, you guys know it's a beast. Uh it's a passive ability, but stunning the thunder god infuriates him, increasing <laughs> his attack by 30% for 4.5 seconds. Additionally, wait, but wait, there's more. Stunning his opponents Tears apart enemy armor, reducing it, reducing it, a hundred and thirty-eight percent, guys. And uh, somewhere, I remember somewhere, uh, maybe it's in his bio. Let me read the bio real quick. Uh, no, I don't think you see it in the bio. They they might have changed the wording on his signature ability because I specifically remember it saying somewhere, for that with smashes. That's why you guys always say me, hear me say that in my dual battle videos when I'm with Thor. But basically, when you parry it, when you parry your opponent using Thor, they get you know arm, armor block or armor break, right? Okay, so they get out of their stun, but their armor break is still there. They you, they charge at you again, you parry them again. Okay, they get another stack of armor break. They get unstunned, they charge at you again, and if you're lucky enough, you might stack it three times. And hopefully, if you've done that, you have your L3 ready. Because if you do, you are ready to smash for that with smashes. Yes. I love it. Shout out to Turbo Tim. <laughs>
because Thor, dude, could just parry special one, parry special one, keeping those stuns and everything. It was dope. Nice. That's Yeah, that's pretty dope, man, going through Act 4. Uh, and you've already 100%ed it, correct? Yeah, and I just 100%ed those new on Moda Quest, too. So you have those live streams available for the viewers, right? Yeah, I do. Everything's on my channel. Okay, so yeah, guys, you heard it first. If you guys haven't seen Yido S go through Act 4 with three-star champions, you might want to go subscribe to his channel. I'll leave a link in the description as well at the top so you guys can go check that out. But uh, getting to my number one um, is Doctor Strange. I love Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is a champion that I could take anywhere. I could take him AQ, AW, Quest. I just love Doctor Strange, and Doctor Strange is a beast unduped. But when he's duped, his signature ability is passive. It is the counter spell. It is, I'm gonna read it. It's the Sorcerer Supreme automatically counters enemy status effects with beneficial counter magic spell effectiveness 66.8%. What does that mean? I'm glad you asked. I'm going to tell you. Doctor Strange, when you get your beneficial effect, let's say you're Wolverine and you're about to regen, <clears throat> nullified. Let's say you're Black Widow and you get your cruelty and your critical, you know, stacking up. Nullified. I mean, whatever it is that's beneficial to your champion, Doctor Strange is counterspelling that and taking it away. And I have doesn't counter willpower because willpower, when you're in Alliance Wars, it'll be like 1,500 per second because of that 700 plus health boost node yeah that's the only thing that's the only thing when playing with dr strange i would be wary using his l3 because his l3 does the fate seal and that activates willpower so i like to spam his l1 or you know use his l2 but uh other than that if you got a beneficial effect it's gone dr strange counter spell it's done <laughs> so that's our list guys that's our list for the top five Signature abilities for Marvel Contest the Champions video. And I know you guys love these videos. I know you guys have a top five of your own. So if you want, go ahead and put your top five down at the bottom hey, of the comment section below. Star. Oh, you doing? You opening crystals? <laughs> no, I just opened one crystal I got from uh, the note removal event. Nice. Yes, guys. Yes. So, hey, guys, we have a lot of stuff in store for you guys. We're still doing Yido S and I are still doing the Pokemon series. The next video should be on his channel. Uh, Yeet, you got anything else you left you want to say? Nah, man. I'm the Pokemon Beast. He is the Pokemon Beast. He's, <laughs> Yeet, Yeet OS is smashing me in that series right now. Hopefully I can, uh, uh, hopefully I can learn from this and renew my, my stuff, my, my team on the next, on the next series. But, uh, yeah, also look out for that, uh, Clash of Clan Royale video that Yeet OS isn't talking about. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You guys want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You guys know what it is. Follow Rizzo the Blaze. Fo blah. Follow Rizzo the Legend. Follow Yido S. We're on Twitter. We're on YouTube. You know that already. Subscribe to both channels. All that good stuff. And until next time, you guys have a good one in real life and in the game. I'm Rizzo the Legend, and he is Yido S. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Peace. I get my grown man hey. gone off Patron, got the Jones in my bones to get my back seat on. Yeah. She shake it like a cyclone, I'm tryna take her home, <laughs> and maybe later on, make a flick like Stallone. Yeah. I get my grown man gone off Patron, got the Jones in my bones to get my back seat on. She shake it like a cyclone, I'm tryna take her home, take and maybe home. later on, make a flick like Stallone. <laughs> Now that you heard the hook on this damn song, it's a must that I get my grown man on, selling hard.